Are your dishes not coming out clean? Well, it's possible you've been loading your dishwasher wrong all along. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to properly load your dishwasher and share some tips with you on how to maintain it for the most efficient clean. Fire up the grill, open up the fridge, it's a party outside. Party in the kitchen, find the best price you can even find this. Learn how to install it on our YouTube channel. Okay. LGZ Line, Whirlpool, and Danby. Every brand that I see is fancy. Hey. We already know you're going to love it, that's a guarantee. Come and join the TAP family. Whoa, white glove service, no scratches on the surface. Hey, what's up guys? One of the biggest complaints I get regarding dishwashers is the, either that it's really loud or the dishes don't come out clean. Today, I'm gonna make sure that you're not the reason the dishes aren't coming out clean. And we're gonna start off with making sure that you maintain your dishwasher's filter. All you gotta do is rinse it under warm water after every cycle, and you can find the filter at the center of the dishwasher towards the bottom. One of the most controversial topics is whether or not you should rinse your dishes before loading them into your dishwasher. The manufacturer recommends scraping the food off of your dishes and not rinsing them, leaving some food particles on them in order for the dish soap to work properly. However, there are some older dishwashers with much less advancements and not all of us are running the dishwasher immediately after loading the dishes because there's just more space to add to it. So my recommendation is to lightly rinse your dishes before loading them into the dishwasher. Now, before we get started, Make sure you're loading your dishwasher with dishwasher safe dishes and avoid wooden utensils and wooden type dishes. Let's go ahead and load our bottom rack first, starting with our larger pots and pans. You're going to want to load these starting from the back and then to the sides facing down towards your spray arms. When loading your larger pots and pans, you're going to want to avoid loading them on the front side of the rack. This way it doesn't block the detergent dispenser from opening. Be sure that none of the handles from your pots or pans are protruding beyond the dishwasher rack. Next, let's go ahead and load our plates, starting with the larger ones first. You're going to want to load them from the outside in, facing towards the spray arm in the most upright position in between the tines. Moving on to our utensils. If your utensils basket includes an open concept like this, it's important to remember knives are always loaded with the sharp end down first and your spoons and forks are loaded alternating handles. Alternating handles will prevent them from spooning like this. However, if your utensil basket includes dividers like this, knives are still loaded with the sharp end down and the forks and spoons will be loaded, of course, with the handles down in between these dividers and I recommend separating the forks uh, from the spoons just so that they're loaded like so pointing them towards the spray arms. For your larger utensils, if your dishwasher includes a top rack, you're gonna to wanna to load those up here. However, if it doesn't, then use the top rack on your dishwasher and loading them anywhere pretty much in between along the sides. Moving on to our top rack. We're gonna start with our smaller bowls and containers. Load these at an angle so that the water runs off and it's important to leave space between these items to prevent nesting and allowing for proper water circulation. Moving on to my favorite part, because I've been doing this wrong all along. Let's load some cups. These here are referred to as tines. You're gonna to wanna to load your cups between your tines rather than through them in order to prevent possibly scratching or cracking your cups. Here's how to load your cups. Wrapping up with some final tips before starting your dishwasher. Looking at your detergent dispenser, of course you're going to load here your preferred soap, whether it's the pods or a liquid or granule soap. However, I recommend always using the indentation located on the top of this particular model for either a pre-rinse or I personally love the Lemmy Shine uh, for a spot-free clean. Some dishwasher uh, detergent dispensers are designed a little bit differently where these caps are have an extra spot here for a pre-rinse with some vents essentially allowing the liquid detergent to flow through there during the print cycle. Um, but either way, I always recommend using some sort of pre-rinse, especially if you have some heavier soiled dishes. Another thing that I've always found effective is running my hot water and my sink 
before starting my dishwasher. This way, when the dishwasher cycle begins, it's filling with hot water right from the beginning. And finally, it's important to remember not to overcrowd your dishes. This way, your soap and water can circulate freely, creating the most efficient and effective clean. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this.